Hello my fellow creators and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be playing with Simon Sis Stamp Ho 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 Stamp Set as well as some of their hybrid inks. The plan is to make my own background paper using the leaf images on the stamp set. I'm going to do a shadow stamping with those images. I'll be starting by stamping the first leaf images using Jelly Bean Ink by Simon Says Stamp. Now that I have my panel covered with that leaf image, I'm going to go back, use the same stamps, and stamp over those same images, this time using Key Lime Ink by Simon Says Stamp. Now that I have my panel covered with the leaf images, I'm going to go in with the berry images from the stamp set using Watermelon Hybrid Ink by Simon Says Stamp. I'm going to follow that with using a couple of small images from the same set, but this time using Distress Oxide Candied Apple. I wanted to have some black dots on my card base, but didn't feel comfortable using the splatter technique at this point. So I found some really small images on the Simon Says Stamp Friends for Life stamp set, and I used the VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink to add those black dots. From there, I used the Scallop Rectangle die from Pink and Main, and I cut out my panel using my Big Shot. Now that I have my card panel cut to size, I placed it inside my Mini Misty so that I could stamp the sentiment directly on the panel. I used VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink to do this. I did have to stamp it two or three times to get the sentiment nice and dark but that's what the Mini Misty is for after all.
pulled in some black twine I had in my stash. I had it for years, so I'm not really sure where I got it. But I thought I would add a little touch of texture to my card. I brought in a piece of black cardstock by Recollections to put behind my panel. I also brought in some fun foam that I had in my stash. I then measured the panel so that I could cut my fun foam to size. Once I was sure the fun foam was the right size to fit the back of my panel, I put some double-sided tape on both sides of the fun foam. I then proceeded to attach the fun foam to the back of my panel. I added some art glitter glue to the back of the fun foam to give me some wiggle room when I'm adhering this to the black panel. I brought in some embellishments by Buttons Galore and more. It's the Lucky Charms mix. I added just a few to add a little bling to my card. I pulled out my Martha Stewart scoring board so that I could score my card base. I find that this makes the cards easier to fold and prevents them from cracking. I made sure to burnish the crease with my Teflon bone folder so as not to leave any marks on the card base. I'm going to attach my card panel to my card base using some art glitter glue. I find that using a liquid glue gives me just enough wiggle room to make sure my panel is attached to my card base correctly. Now that my panel is attached to my card base, my card is done. Voila! I hope you enjoyed today's video. I would be thrilled if you subscribe to my channel or follow me on my other social media platforms. Have a beautiful, safe, and creative day.